Resmit is a really good company that makes machines for sleep apnea. Right now, people are using Ozempic, and that is Novo Nordisk drug for sleep apnea. It hasn't been approved yet, but it's thought to work against sleep apnea because, like many healthcare problems, it's partially caused by obesity. Louie has a study for it that's expected to be completed in March. Now, given the surprise kidney data for the GLP 1s, money managers don't want to wait around for the official news that the drug also combats sleep apnea. So, ResMed gets clubbed. We know that some of these growth, uh, the, some of the growth from a really great company, Intuitive Surgical, ISRG, comes down to this bariatric surgery for weight loss. Doctors consider this invasive surgery. They ask you to get your heart checked out before they do it. That, in turn, has driven doctors to prescribe Wagovi instead. In a recent conference call, Intuitive Surgical admitted that it's already hurting their growth. It's just a tad slower, but anything that shades numbers down on a high price earnings multiple stock is the kiss of death. No one seems to wait around to see if the medical device stocks would be impacted. What if there are fewer heart attacks? Time to sell Boston Scientific, Medtronic, and even J&J. Again, money managers don't want to wait around for the next press release about how these drugs are great for your heart. Doctors will tell you that if you're a heavy drinker, you should be taking this class of drugs because they stop the craving for liquor the same way they stop the craving for candy. Is there any, under, any other reason, any wonder that Brown Foreman, the maker of Jack Daniels, has seen its, seen its stock just get obliterated? Institutions don't want to wait for definitive proof. It's too late. They got to get out now. Which brings me to the point of the story. An institution's goal is to anticipate not the action itself, but that there'll be others reaction, reacting soon. And they have to get out ahead of those late reactors. Bottom line, I know it seems superficial, knee-jerk even, but money managers are knee-jerk and superficial people. And in the wild cases of Wegovi and Louis Munjaro, the more superficial and the more knee-jerk they were, the more money they saved. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.